Georgia teen raises money to hold high school's first integrated prom ever in 2013. Ironically, it was just after the it was just after the the high school in Wycock County, Georgia, became integrated 30 years ago. The school held its first its first segregated prom. It's embarrassing to know that I am I am from the county that still has this. Wilcox County Wilcox County High School student Kaylee Bald Kaylee Bloodworth told 41 41 NBC Bloodworth a white student and and three of her friends, two of them black, had launched an effort to hold the school's first ever integrated prom, but the task is proven more difficult than one might expect in 2013. I actually put up posters for integrated prom and we were told and we were and people we had people rip them down for, at the school. But both the separate both the separate black and white prom and the separate black and white homecoming dance are privately funded by parents and students, so Bloodworth and her family have been forced to try and raise money themselves. While the school has no official stance on the matter, it did decide that they should only have one homecoming king and queen. But that was an empty gesture. The white there was a white king and a black and the black queen were not allowed to take a joint photograph for the yearbook, and neither were allowed to attend the other the other proms. When the biracial students attempted to enter the white prom just last year, the police were called and turned them away. This is like something from 1968, America. This is happening in Wilcox County, Georgia, today in 2013. I really feel as though, as much as we've moved forward as a nation, the resurgency of hatred and division and discrimination and segregation are sort of seems to we seem to have a resurgency in these type of things. You go and you look everything. You look from you look you go to from gay marriage to abortion rights to affirmative action, and you begin to see. This hatred. You look at the Westboro Baptist Church. You look at how people have sort of demagogued Nancy Pelosi and the sexism there, and how they've demagogued the Obamas. And you realize, you think to yourself, are are we as a nation moving forward? Are we as a nation moving backward? Or is it that those of us who sort of are more open minded are moving forward, and those of us that are clinging on to the conservative to their conservative roots and the it used to be this way are holding us back from what could be a future of greatness. But I will tell you this. I do believe that this resurgency in conservatism and hatred and bigotry and segregation, if it continues on this path, could really knock America off the pedestal of being the world's largest economy. Because it's our open minding our our open mindedness and our creativity and our ingenuity that made us a great nation to begin with. We should celebrate our differences, not segregate them.